So I'm going to take you through these zones one by one to help you to know how to deal with this. And I'm going to focus on three key zones. So I'm going to talk about zone one, which is acute illness and assessment, where you are looking at about 36 plus or minus questions. So where you are looking at this zone, you're looking at emergencies, like, you know, if you go through the MCC objectives. And so this is where you also have to link your studies to the objectives. So if you go to the MCC objectives, there are specific objectives like chest pain, altered mental status, trauma, sepsis. So with these objectives, this is what the emergency portion of the exam is looking at. And it is up to you to go there. So on the chest pain, if you look at the breakdown of that objective, you will see conditions like maybe pericarditis, acute myocardial infarction, chest trauma. All of them will come under chest pain as an objective. And they can chest pain as an objective can meet under acute illness with assessment. Okay. So you need to spot danger fast and act decisively. That is what acute illness is all about. And the MCCQ1 is testing your ability to keep patients alive and safe. And so this zone of acute illness and assessment carries massive weight on the exam and it tests real world clinical judgment. Now, I want to take you to the second zone, which I want you to focus on, which is chronic illness and management. So this one, you're looking at about 52 plus or minus questions. If you look at the way the grid is spread on the MCC website, and this includes chronic conditions like diabetes, hypertension, COPD, heart failure, you know, chronic mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, and you'll be expected to know the Canadian guidelines on these chronic conditions, how to treat them, how to monitor them, and how to escalate your care. In other words, how to move the patient from a primary care provider to a specialist. The third zone I want to focus on, which is also very, very important, is communication plus ethics plus psychosocial behavior. And this goes to about 45 plus or minus questions. So these points test your ability to manage people, not just pathologies. So you're looking at cases or scenarios where you are managing people and the expectation like end of life, you know, consent, capacity, cultural sensitivity, abuse, ethical dilemmas. And success here depends on your clinical judgment, you know, how empathetic you are and your professionalism, not just memorization of medical facts.